Hey boys and girls, all right, so we're gonna move on with the next set of pages. Um, I want you wanna get to the second problem on this page, so we're not gonna do number one here, it's not part of your work. Uh, we are gonna do number two. Um, so it's just Kona and Isabella, they're doing push-ups. Um, our wick, our important part, is that Kona does three push-ups and follows an add three rule, so if she's at three, the first time the next day she's going to add three more so three plus three is six and then you're going to continue her pattern for um five more days okay so i just did days one and two you're going to continue for five more days then we have our friend isabella here so isabella is a little, um, a little lower on her level of push-ups she does one push-up on one day and then she adds one for the next day so day one she's at one day two she is at two okay uh, remember, for the next part, they want us to do our ordered pairs, and like I just mentioned, X, Y is our ordered pair patterns. Okay, X comes first, then Y, just like the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, blah, 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 X, Y, Z. Okay, so um, our X, they want our X to be um, Isabella's pattern. So um, Isabella is going to be, well, Isabella's uh, is going to be the first ordered pair. So we're going to have her one here as our X, and then we're going to have Kona is the Y pattern. So that's going to be our three right here. Okay. Um, that's our first ordered pair. And once you continue the um, patterns for the next five days, you're going to continue adding all those over here and then making the rest of your five ordered pairs. And then I want you to talk about the relationship between the two um, datas, between Kona's and Elizabeth, Eli, um, Isabella's. Okay, then over here we have the same thing going on for Zach and Eliza. You're going to do the same exact thing for them. Um, over here is something I did want to talk about because they include a fraction in this one. Now, it's not something to be intimidated by. We have the fraction three halves um, for Quentin's hair. So every month, Quentin's hair grows three half centimeters and Maurice's hair grows uh, one centimeter. Um, every month okay so when we look at where they both start they both start at two centimeters in the beginning um they both get a haircut they have two centimeters worth of hair and then um they start growing their hair for the next four months okay so we're going to start with quentin he's at two we're going to add three halves okay so um i have two centimeters of hair and i'm going to add three halves to that so three halves. Now, I need to make this a fraction as well. I'm going to put one under it because we know that um, this is my numerator. That's my denominator. My value does not change when I divide something by one. Anything divided by one is still that value. So two divided by one is still two. Uh, what I'm going to do now to, in order to add fractions, I need to have the same denominator. I can't make this two a one, but I can make this one a two. So I'm going to multiply by two. And whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So now 2 times 2 is 4. And now 1 times 2 is 2. And then now I can add because they have the same denominator. So 3 over 2. Add it together with 4 over 2 is 7 over 2. So after one month, he's going to have 7 um, halves. 7 over 2. Okay, and then Maurice's hair is pretty easy. After a whole month, his hair only grows one. So two plus one, he's now at three centimeters. Okay, now if you're going to go ahead and you're going to add again for um, Quentin's hair, you're going to take those seven um, halves and you're going to do seven over two plus another three over two. Now it's easy because they already have the same denominator. It's not going to change. So you're just gonna have three over two added together. Our numerator is seven plus three is 10. Okay, and our denominators are going to stay the same. We do not add denominators. Um, we just keep them the same. So that's 10 over two. And you're going to continue the pattern for both these boys. And then from there, you're going to answer the following questions about them and then talk about the relationships, all right? As always, boys and girls, if you have any questions, please just comment below on this post. All right. Thank you.